Hey, check out what we bought. Now the complaints I've heard about this thing is that it's not a uniform thickness all the way across. Well, unless you're designing parts for the space shuttle, I don't think it's much of a problem. The other complaint is that this top is not spring loaded. Not a problem, we just took it apart. Gonna add a little spring here. But the difficulty is my fat little fingers trying to work on these little tiny bolts and washers. Simple enough. Now we have a little spring protection for our tooling. Now you don't have to make this thing spring loaded, but it's a nice little fudge factor just in case. Now that this is spring loaded, I went ahead and connected it to the breakout board. You need five volts on one, input on another, and it doesn't matter. This is an open loop connection, and when it makes contact, it closes the loop and sends a signal to the breakout board. Let me show you how I set it up in mock. First thing we have to do is mic it so we know the thickness for the offset. In Mach 4, we make sure we're disabled. We go to the configuration and we go down to the smooth stepper. I configured input pin 13 on port two. You can use whatever you want and I named it zero height and set it in the active high mode. Input Signals tab, go down to the probe. Make sure it's enabled. And then set the map to the correct pin. Now we enable it, go over to the touch menu, and this window comes up. I set the speed of the probe pretty slow, set the offset and the thickness of the probe itself, and that's going to give me a total of one inch. Then we go over and we activate the probe. You can see the Z starts to go down. When it makes contact, it'll do the offset of 0.111 and go to one inch height. This is really gonna change my accuracy. So I hope this was helpful. If you like what you see, subscribe, leave a comment, watch all our other videos. We'll see you real soon.